Hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel Bella Crafts and it's time for the collaboration. Now Rachel kicked it off yesterday with a uh, hilltop view and um, journals, number one. I'm the second on the list, so I'm paired up with Ruby and Pearl, XO, and I'm Bella's Crafty Studio. So there's no confusion. I am Rachel Bella Crafts, but my studio and my videos are called Bella's Crafty Studio. Okay, so just so there's no confusion there. Welcome to our show and it's going to be a, an amazing collaboration because we have 60 collaborators. 60! Rachel has been working on this for days and days and she's done an amazing job. Well done Rachel, um, we really appreciate you, thank you very much. So if you want to know who's on the list, go over to our Junk Journal Trading Post on Facebook and you will be able to download one of these. OK, so anyway, let's get started. I'm doing embossing today with Heather from Ruby and Pearl XO. So let's get started. So I'm just going to show you quickly my let me make sure I'm on camera. Um, my journal that I'm putting my things that I've made into and I'm only doing this because I want to show you these lovely papers if you haven't already seen them and this is some of the things that you can do with the kit all right so that's a pocket I've made there and that tag goes in there this is one of the pages and that's beautiful that's front and back that's the other signature there isn't he gorgeous hello father Christmas it's coming around really quickly, isn't it? Now you can cut out these as Rachel showed you in her, I think it was uh, last week she showed you these when she was showing off her kit, um, what you can do with them. All right, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of pages. And this is out of one of my lovely Christmas books. That's one of her pages. And let me go into the middle. And that is a collage sheet. But I've used it as the middle page because I absolutely love it. I will be using it for collaging, but I haven't used it yet. So there's the inside of my cover, in case you're wondering. And that's the other. So there's some ideas for you to do there. And this one, I'm just going to whiz through this. I just wanted you to see, aren't these pages beautiful? So if you want to, no, this is what I was getting to. This is the sort of thing that you can do with your uh, embossing. Just plain and simple if you have, now this is just drawing paper, you know, like a kiddie's drawing book. And I've used that because it's quite a nice quality um, page. And it's really, so you have to be careful because some of them, they will break up because I've just noticed there. And, um, so what I didn't do, uh, I didn't do the embossing powder on this page, on that paper. I've actually done it on one of the kit pages, which I shall show you later. All right. So that's another one. That, that's beautiful. And I was so excited because I realized that I could buy one of these embossing pens, which I shall show you in a second. But anyway, that's that's the kit. That's what I'm using and that's what I'm making. So that can go over there on my desk. Now I'm going to put up some things to show you what I shall be using in this video. And I'm going to be gentle because I'm on my um, dining room table because I had so much to show you and I couldn't fit it on my desk. Right, so bear with me now because there's a lot to get through. If you're going to emboss, then you need one of these machines or you can get one of those small ones if you just want to put some small things through like I showed you earlier. Let me just move that lace out of the way. You're going to need a gun, an embossing gun or a hairdryer. Somebody said on their video they used their um, electric cooker, but I don't advise that. I, I, I'd, I'd be afraid the paper or something would catch fire. So. And with these, you have to be very careful because you can burn your paper and you can burn the embossing, as I've discovered. So this comes out like this and that goes in there like that. So I have got some paper ready. Um, I'm going to fold it over because I'm going to show you what I did with the other one. And I'm going to show you how I got out. I'll take that off now if I can find my scissors. 
They did have everything ready, I promise you. No, they've got walk about. Anyway, we'll manage. That won't go through, will it? So I'll tell you what, I'll tear it. If you can't find your scissors, just tear the paper. All right. Everything is fixable, isn't it? So that comes out. And I've taken one of these away. I believe that's what happens because it was too thick for it to go through. So this is the one I used. Now, that needs to go in that way. So I'm going to have to... Now, you've got to think about this because whichever way you put... Actually, I'm using the wrong side. Um, whichever way you use your paper... So that's going to come out there. So I don't want it up there, do I? I want it down here. Okay, now I'm not going to get all this on because the page isn't... So just slide that down so it's reaching there. If you wanted just that page, you could cut it off there. But I don't want to do that. So this is going to go on the back page now. If you wanted it on the front page, I'm just thinking how I did it. I would have to... I folded it incorrectly, but it doesn't matter. If you want it on the front page... See, this is the thing you've got to think. It'll have to go in like that, all right? And then that goes on there. So just keep thinking because, you, if, you know, you don't want to be disappointed after you've done it. So this is going to wobble a bit. So I'll do it gently so I'm not shaking the camera because I've got it on my lovely little stand, which is by here. So bear with me. I'm going to be very gentle when I'm doing this because I could shake you all about. So there we are. So isn't that absolutely lush? So that's that one. I know I've lost a bit there, but you can have a wider piece of paper. I'm just showing you how to emboss it. And it does look stunning, doesn't it? Now I'm going to show you. So that that's, um, we'll come back to that in a minute. I'll do some more in a moment. Actually, what I think I'll do next, I'm good, while well, I've got the machine out, put that one down by there, put that there, and then I'm going to use this one to do one of these bags. It's only tiny, but... And see, now this one has got lovely print on it, so there you can tell straight away now which way around shall I do this. I've got two there, haven't I? I wonder if I could do two together. Let's try it. Now, do I want it that way or do I want it that way? That's the way it should go in. So maybe, but then you've got this. So think, you've got to keep thinking how this is going to look on the page because you can always trim that off and do like a little uh, fancy edging on it, couldn't you, with your scissors? So I'm putting that in there like so. Don't worry, I'll bring it back up now and I'll show you. So... Think about where you're placing your pieces of paper as well, all right? Because that needs to be down the bottom there and on the side. So just keep thinking about what you're doing. Let me just push this back through. There we are. Let's try this one. And that now, see, that one's not thick enough. So what I'm going to have to do now... I've got another one of these over there. And depending on the weight of your, the thickness of this will depend how, how you use. I know Heather's got um, somewhere in her video, you will find that there is, an, she's got instructions on how to use this, that's better. So you may have to interchange them. There we go, that's better. Let's hope I've got both of them out now. So I've used those two, two of those, and I've taken away the one with the green on, which was this. I took that one away. Okay, so let's see how this worked out. I'm standing up here, so I hope I'm not shouting. So there we go. So we've got two. Yes, and we managed to do two at the same time. All right. So let's put a piece of paper in there now and see see what it looks like. Let me see if I can cut the bottom of this off. 
That's my list in case I forget words. Don't laugh. But we do forget words. Now, the thing you may find... Oh, yeah, we did the other way, didn't we? I couldn't understand why I couldn't open it then. But that's okay. So if I put that sheet down in there... Because if it's going to be a pocket, you're going to have something in it, aren't you? That's a little bit too wide. I didn't tear it enough. But it'll give you an idea, and you can see the embossing there. So that's lovely. And you can then, I'm going to show you next, the other thing that I've purchased specifically for this. So I'm going to move this out the way a moment. Please bear with me, because there's a lot of moving around and I don't want to keep stopping the, the camera all the time because it takes so long to upload these all right so we've got those all right I'm going to sit down now and that came out of that folder I'm not sure I got this off um Amazon somewhere all right now I'm going to sit down now so and then I'll show you some of the things I've already done okay let me just move that over there because that's got all my bits on now, some of the things you're going to need, we've done the embossing now, and I showed you both of those, all right, and I've done it on those because it will show up better on the camera. If I did it straight on the piece of paper that I'm going to show you in a moment, you won't see the effect of this. So I've done that in order for you to see, you don't need that black pen, that was just for me to write instructions, okay? And you're going to need a brush to brush off this which is called embossing powder it's all right i'm looking at my list because the words just seem to fly out the win window and it does say embossing powder on here okay so that's embossing powder you need some of those you'll need some stamps all right i've got my stamps all ready so i can show you how to use those you're going to need the other embossing stamp which is like a, an ink stamp but it's not it's for you to put your stamps onto there and then put your powder on the top which i'll show you in a moment and then you'll use your heat gun okay so that's what you're going to need so if you want to go and grab some of those and then come back and you can help you can do what i'm doing at the same time so they're they're illustrations okay those that's how i've embossed them so that's the embossing machine so we've done that okay so i've used both of those so that's the two i've used so they can go back in my tin and i'll take my words out because i'm bound to forget what things are now this is an embossing pen that i purchased from and it's a, a dual tip okay so we've got a fat end there which is like so and they're like the felt pens or the watercolor pens that you can buy and there's a stubby one at that end okay and uh, i have been using it so i know it works excuse me my nose is itching so you need a brush you need a pen or not if you've got one of these you can use that but you won't be able to do what i did what I, with the thing i'm going to show you in a moment you need a gun and you need some things that you're going to emboss or stamp on so i've got that ready there's some material you need some material and then we make a start okay so before that i'll just show you what i've already done now this is the page this one is this okay so that's that let me just move my gun over and what i did with this because it it showed through the back because when you use this it is actually blue and I don't know why that that is but it will come out blue on the back so be aware of that okay that does not go away and I did it um, exactly the same right and this is how I was going to show you but I'm going to do it on I think I've got a piece here somewhere I'll have to do it on this piece of paper, I think, because I don't want to spoil that. So it comes out like this. So I'll just do a flower, a, a leaf, okay? And you can draw with this as well. 
So if you wanted to draw a leaf on your page like that, and then another leaf like that, you do that, okay? Now let me put my tip back on. Where did I put it? Oh golly, I've lost my tip already. Stuck it on the end of there, didn't I? You were shouting that to me. You've got to be quick with this, so I hope I haven't left it too long now. Okay, now this is just free um, embossing. Oh, oh, I should have left that open, sorry. There's a lot to think about with this, so just bear with me with my scatterbrain. Something in there. Don't want that in there, do we? So then all you do is pour it back into here. And that's why you need your brush sometimes. There we are, that's gone in there. Now, I can see that hasn't completely covered that, but that might have been my fault because I took too long. So I go back in, put that on there again. All right. And if you had a very thin brush, you could tidy it up. So I'm going to always put your lid back on before you use your heat gun, okay? That is one of the rules. Always put that back on. I'm going to move that out of the way because I don't want that to burn. And the other thing I discovered, and I think Gail Gossinelli already told us this, do not do it onto your mats because they will buckle. Fortunately, my big mat underneath did settle back down. But I'm not going to... Excuse the noise. So hold it up. And it doesn't take long. There we are. That's it. It's done. It really doesn't take long. And, um, you know, I was trying it out for the first time. And the first uh, thing happened. I went and burnt the paper and it went through to the back. Now, it will show on the back, as I say, because it was blue. And not only that, because you're going to get, a, you know, um, shadow. That's the word I'm looking for. But isn't that fun? And, and if you had some red glitter, which I didn't have, unfortunately, you could have put some lovely berries around that and you could have made berries to go on your page. So that's one illustration of the pen. All right. And that's what I did on here on this beautiful page. OK, and that's that's how that looks on there like that. So it's exactly the same. I use the edge of the pen. I use the big big um, nib on that and I just went around. It took me a while, I'll, I'll be honest, it did take me a little while, but the effect is absolutely amazing. Let me, let me stand up so you can get the full effect of this, all right? Isn't that lovely? So that's on the page. That I left for you to see is where the embossing was by there. And I've just gone over it with the pen like this finding where the uh, the raised bits are and then I did exactly what I did with this I put the powder on and then I glue gun uh, I sorry I use my heat gun okay and then I lined the other side with one of Rachel's uh, backing papers and then I'm going to stitch around the edge I'm going to go stitch all the way around the edge and finish it off like that okay now what we could do on here we could either put, or maybe on the other side, I made some of these little ones with the stamps that I've got. I don't know whether you can see that. It's starting to rain, so you may hear a little bit of the rain. Okay, and that could go there quite nicely, and it would work better on the other side. Let's put it inside. So that could go there like that, and you could use that as a, as a tuck. All right, and that could hang over the edge, and that would be rather nice. I would put it in probably there because I haven't backed the paper on there. I would ha you'd have to put something that side, but that would be okay. And then that would go on the inside of my journal. So shall we put it on the inside of my journal and see what she looks like? And then you can get some idea. The, the reason I'm doing this is so that you can actually see how it works. I know lots of people have got to make um, tags and things like that, but isn't that beautiful? So you open your page, 
and there she is she's absolutely stunning now at the back you would turn that page over and then you would have this page on here and that would look rather lovely you could even put it on which would make it show up even more if i can find the coffee page that would look rather lovely there okay so that would be nice and also you could i've done these and these are with the stamps which i'll show you in a moment okay that's the embossing and, and don't be afraid to tear them because i know probably heather will be doing that because i know she loves to do that so that's just one illustration that's a little bit of sari silk there this is paper from the kit and i put some lace underneath and i've stamped with love at christmas on there okay and that could go at the top of a page like so in, in fact what i could have done there was stapled it straight on and then i could have put something over the page so that's another idea that could go down the edge of the page that would be rather nice or that could go on a tag okay and this one i did freehand and my writing isn't brilliant but i just wanted you to see what you could do and i've also done that one and this is just on another piece of the one I showed you, the first one, okay? And you could just keep adding. You could keep putting, you, you could put some more of the uh, sari silk on there, all right? Or even some of this lovely trim that I've got on the edge of, of the pages, okay? So let me move you over. I don't think I'm quite in screen. There we are. That's better. So we can either have one at the top, one at the bottom, we could have it on this one here, but it doesn't show up. So you could actually put that on something lighter if you wanted to. We could put those on there. There, you can make that a top tuck. All right. And then this one could go on here as well. It could go on sideways. You can do it whichever way you like and, and just keep embossing and use them as you would uh, anything else okay um you can even i've got some i think that's tissue paper in there i don't think that is actually vellum and this is the thin vellum i've lost it now where's she gone she doesn't want me to find her does she there it is sorry you could actually emboss on vellum which comes out really beautiful i've done that before and you can have that beautiful thing on there that embossing fo folder on there so that would make a nice idea i'm just trying to give you ideas I'm, i don't necessarily have to demonstrate every single thing otherwise i'd be here all day you can emboss on your tags which rachel showed you and it would come through but it would would be okay i'm not sure it would go right the way through there i'm not sure because this is quite thick but you can do that as well that can go through your embossing machine and that would be lovely okay so that's that so don't forget now this this pen you can do lots of different things and then you could cut them out even cut them as close as you like and then um that would be fine so that's those i've shown you that i've shown you that so one more thing i want to show you So I showed you how to use the pen on there. Well, I haven't demonstrated it because I don't want to spoil the back of that. That's going in my second signature, that one. Um, what I've done on here, and I will be able to show you on this page. I just want to check. Yep, I'm in view. There's nothing worse than not being able to see what I'm doing, is there? So we'll use that in a moment, that ink pen, ink pad. Find the top. Now, the tip is on the end of there. Now, what I did there, I just put some embossing. It's not embossing powder, so I'm embossing pen on here and on there and on there. But what you could do, you could do it on the berries. And when my, when my order comes, I have ordered some um, some red embossing powder, and I would do the cherry, not the cherries, the berries on there. See on here, you could you could actually emboss those berries. Um, I'm just going to do the flame on here just to show you, all right? Just like as if we were doing um, a leaf, but I'll have to do it quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do just these two 
get my embossing powder otherwise it won't stick you have to have everything ready okay and pull that straight back in there we go shake it off that's it that's lovely that'll do that'll do nicely i don't know whether i've gone around there enough you can go back in and touch it up if you want to it comes off but you have to do it quickly again don't be afraid to keep going in and retouching don't think you've spoiled anything by just missing something because with the pen you're able to um before you emboss not i need a smaller brush don't i but anyway there we are i managed to do it put that in there try not to get your glitter everywhere like i did yesterday okay so that's going the lid on there i can go up there out of my way and then i'll show you what i've done so i'm sorry about the noise but i'm going to do this real time okay done done i have missed a bit but as i say with this pen i could go back in and i could touch that up again and i could i'm going to do this one next it will buckle your paper but don't worry because you can flatten it back out when you glue it to something okay so just bear that in mind don't panic if you see it buckling i did uh do some of this on sari silk believe it or not I'll touch that one up while I'm at it. Um, what am I doing? As I say, you've got to be fairly quick with this. It's remembering the steps, isn't it? Because if you put the lid back on there, you're delaying everything again. So just take your time. Think about what you're doing. Okay, so there, that's that. Always put the lid back on your glitter because I spilt mine yesterday. Don't do as I do, do as I say, they say, don't they? Not as I do. See, so you can go back in and touch it up as many times as you like. It doesn't take long. There we are, done. That's done. And that one, I still need to touch that one up, but I'm being pernickety now. You don't, you don't have to be that fussy. Okay, so the flame's on there now. I, I think you can see that okay. You could go and do all of these if you wanted to. You could go around and you could do some of the, the sashes on here, the lovely bows. All right, but what, I, what I'm hoping to do are the berries when when my um, my red glitter comes. And I've had to do this early because we have the retreat next week and um, I had to get this done ready. Um, if it does come in the meantime, I'll add it on to the end of this video and I'll show you with photographs, okay? So that's that. And then you will just cut these out. Uh, as I say, it does buckle. So if you put something, you know, uh, when, it, when it's warm, I would say, put something on the top and flatten it out, then I think when it's warm, it will flatten back down. So don't worry about that. Now, have I got anything else to show you? Um... I did make a little cluster with these and I was going to put, so that's on material like this one. I don't know whether I showed you that. I did actually emboss that on material. I put that on upside down. I knew I would, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way you use it actually. And then I've made a little cluster with that material there. And then I've got pin and I'm going to stitch that onto there like so. So there's lots of ways that you can use these um, embossing, powder, uh, embossing folders. Okay, so that's that. So that's another idea for you. So let's do some stamping now, shall we? And I was going to use this. Only because it's clearer for you to see. Chuck that away. So this is my one of my favourite. Oh, you can see, see it here. Look where you. Now, if you use one of these, then you'll be able to see where the embossing powder is. 
do it as quickly as you can all right take the lid off that ready and put the lid back on there everything is quick with this i think that's why i panicked when rachel said um you're doing embossing mum and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to get in a terrible mess. And I did yesterday. I got in a terrible... Now, that is stunning. I have to say, that is stunning already. So I'm really pleased with that. Now, if you don't like mess, then don't go this route. Follow one of the other collaborators. See what Heather's doing. But it will be messy. I'm going to put this on again. Sorry. So I'm going to move that out the way. I'm going to move that out the way. But you are seeing this as I'm doing it, okay? Doesn't take long. Once you get the heat going, that's it. If you leave it any longer, the paper will burn or you will burn. The, you can burn the gold as well, by the way. I don't think it was the paper so much as the gold was burning. But isn't that just stunning? Absolutely stunning. I love that. And that was from, where did I buy that? Inca Stamp Co. And it's called Church Window and there's a number if you want it. Okay. So I'm going to have to wash that, aren't I? But I absolutely love that. So I'm going to put that over there. I've got some with Merry Christmas on. And we'll do that one if we can. I'm just showing you now with the pad. I've shown you with the pen. So I'm showing you now how to use the pad. So I'm going to do that, that, that. You need to make sure there's plenty on there. Otherwise, you won't get the effect that you're looking for. But you can do this on any paper. You can do it. I'll show you on fabric in a moment. All right. I should have taken the lid off ready. There we are. Put plenty on because now I need to put that back on there because it dries out very quickly. That's got to go in here. And do it as, as you're doing things. Don't leave it. Otherwise, you'll find you're going to get in a bit of a mess. Tap it from the back if you want to get it all off. Oh, wow. Look at that. Really pleased with that. Move my stamp, I don't want that getting burnt. You can turn the sound down while I'm doing this if you want. I think I missed a bit down there. Done. And that's as simple as it gets. So I've got two beautiful ones there now. And I could do that on any of the pages. These backing pages here would be lovely with it on. I'm not sure it will show up. We'll, I will try it, but I'm not going to do it now today. But I am going to try it. I want to try one on here. So let's turn that round. And let's put this small one on here, shall we? Let's try that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's put that there. So this one says, what does it say? Get up the right way. With love at Christmas. Okay. Oh, let me take my... For the best results, make sure you're ready. Okay. So we've got that, that. Down here. Now this is sliding about a little bit. Okay. And that's stuck really well. And once, you, once you've got your glitter on, you're, you're fine. You, you, you don't need to worry because that's not going anywhere then once the glitter is on there. And you don't have, you can do a few all at the same time. You know, you don't have to do them individually like I'm doing these. Now, look at that. Isn't that stunning? It's going to be even better in a moment. Put that on there. That on there it does make a mess. But if you want good results, then you've got to put up with the mess, haven't you? Put that over there. 
Move that a little bit. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen with the glassine bag because I haven't done this. So let's have a look. So I'll hold it from a distance. It's like grease poop paper, so it's obviously going to work. So that's done. There we are. Don't need to do any more than that. Now, isn't that just stunning? Oh, I'm really pleased with that. And as I say, if you if you flatten things out whilst they're warm, you'll probably be able to get the paper to go back to how it was. So that's that idea. I think that's lovely, actually. I'm really pleased with that. Just had a funny idea. No, I don't think I will. I was going to stamp on the top of that, but I don't think it'll fit. It might. Should we try it? Should we? Should we try it? Why not? Let's experiment, shall we? Now I know we've got dots on this, so you can lay it. Let's see if we can layer it up. It's the rain I can hear. I wonder what the noise was. Let's layer up. I'm going to have to press hard to try and get these bubbles down. Right, there we go. Should have had that ready, shouldn't I? No worries, no worries. You will need another sheet. Well, what am I doing? You will need another sheet underneath to catch all the glitter, okay? And I'll have to pick that up. Now, that's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? I'm glad I tried that because I wouldn't have thought of doing that. And I, because I pressed the stamp down really hard, I flattened the, uh, you know, the bubbles. I'll have to get rid of this a second, so bear with me a minute because I'm, I'm getting a lot of, uh, and I don't want to waste it. The thing is, whatever's underneath and you use the heat gun is going to... Heat, heat it to the page, all right? And you could just sprinkle it on a page, I suppose, and just um, heat gun it. No, I don't want to spoil those, so I'm going to move those over a sec. So let's see what happens with this one. that hasn't been too noisy for you but I want you to, to see the whole thing as I'm doing it and that says with love at Christmas and I think that is beautiful I can't cut the top off now because I've gone up above it but I don't think that matters when it's on a page you can still use it as a pocket can't you you could even do it as a flip because look you've got that lovely uh, indentation on the back and that will be on the inside of let me see if I've got anything narrow enough to go in. That one, that one's narrow, narrow enough. Hang on a sec. Because they will stick together first of all, okay? So you have to open that, you need a bone folder. There we go, I've got it. So that could go in there like so. If you wanted to, uh, you know, make presents with them, happy mail or something, and then that can go in there and you've got your indentation on the back. So that is lovely too. There's nothing wrong with it being the other way around. I quite like it actually. And you could go over that with some gold paint or not. I wouldn't bother, but you can use the pocket and you could actually put it on, on, on the page. Let me get my journal back a sec. Getting this out a lot, good. And I've given you some ideas. Sorry, this is so long, but this is such fun. That could go on there. I could trim that a little bit. Um, try not to get in the mess. So excuse me while I tidy up. So let's find a page for that to go. Isn't that gorgeous? I should be finishing that one off. Now I need a nice page. That could even go on there, but it's not going to show up enough. Now on here, it looks lovely. 
So you could put it on there, you could put it on as a flip page and it could flip open like that. You could put some, um, I'll have to use this because I haven't got another page handy. You can put those in there, look, they'll fit. So you can make um, tags and they will fit. I haven't made any tags yet. So you've got the plain one. I'm sorry I'm in such a mess, but that's what happens when you're creating. So I'm, I shouldn't really be apologising because this is our world, isn't it? This is our world where we work. So that can go on there like so, or that one, the plain one, and you can use that. But let's find a page that is busy. Let me find one that's got lots. See, you can see through them, so you can manage to find a lovely page where it shows through that would be lovely on there and then if you've got a lovely tag in it as well that would be super duper so let's recap so we've got our pages in our journal so we've got that one so we've done that that's using the pen that's using this pen and as i say it's got Two nibs, so don't do like my Rachel does. She forgets to use the other end, or she doesn't notice it on the glue. And apparently, I think that's supposed to go there, and that's supposed to go there to show you. Well, that's clever. I just noticed that. So you can even feel where it is if you put them back in the right spot. Okay, so that's that. You need embossing powder, which I've shown you. You need an emboss embossing pad, and you need some stamps. So we've made those, those, those. There's that lovely page I want to show you again. Keeps leaving me. We've got that one. So let's go over here. Now we've got those. We've got that idea. You can do that. And that's just tearing that one up. And I've done lots of those. You can do, if you've got lovely um, script writing, you can do, do it by all means. And, or you could print that beautiful, um, I forget what it's called now, not italics, the other one, cursive writing and print it out and then go over it with your pen, which is what I might do. I was just practicing with those. I was just playing. And that will then go on the page there. So there's a few ideas. And don't forget this sheet as well. And I've done candle flames and you can also do freehand so there's a recap for you so i hope you've enjoyed this um video and i know i was a bit busy but i had to make oh, don't forget your brush for brushing it off so there's all the things you need and your glue gun i was going to do it on the material and i was going to do it on here you you could run that through the embossing machine as it is and with these because they're pockets Rachel was showing us on her video last week. I've written the top there because I I was forgetting. Uh, so, you you know, you you know then which way up to put your um, embossing folder. This is this is what I was thinking, because. Now, this one wouldn't be any good because that would be the wrong way round. So you actually you could use it like that. You could because it would scroll that way. So that, that might be an idea that you could do. Run that through the... Uh, you'd have to cut it across there, obviously. Okay? So there's another idea for you. And you can mix and match the um, the folders. You could just do part of it if you wanted to. Just do the top part there. Oh, this is a damask one. This is lovely. And if you lined it up there, I wouldn't go right to the top, actually. I'd, I'd leave yourself, you know, otherwise it might break. So bear that in mind. Sometimes they they will break. So go down just below the line there and you can pop that in sideways and then you'll have a lovely damask. And then you fold these up. All right, so there's another idea for you. I'm going to leave it there because I could go on all day. And you can print and um, stamp on material, which I haven't done yet, which I will carry on and I'll carry on doing that and I'll put the pictures on Facebook. All right, so... Thank you all for watching, as I say, and um, good luck to everybody who's doing the collaboration. And um, I, I just hope that it goes well for Rachel because she's put a lot of work into this. And 
there's that one as well i forgot that and that one's beautiful so i'm really pleased with those so don't forget you could just do it on plain paper as well and i'm going to say cheerio for now and thank you all very much for watching bye for now